We can have regrets as often as we make mistakes. There are plenty of ways in which we can make mistakes, of course. Sometimes we make decisions according to what we thought to be true or what we thought we knew, and it still turns out to be wrong. So how do you approach this? How do you approach mistakes? One of my bosses likes to put it this way. You can't change the tire while the car is moving. There's an aspect of making mistakes, messing up, where in the responsibilities of life, in the requirements of business, you don't have time or you don't have the ability to go back and correct something that went wrong. Wrong. Your only option is to keep going and make adjustments along the way. As an example, I was working with someone on my team for this podcast and came to find out that I had misspelled the title of one of the episodes from about two months ago. I have a spreadsheet and this spreadsheet has all of the data associated with each episode. And when I saw the episode posted to a social media platform, I noticed the misspelling and the misspelling took place on the social media platform because it was misspelled in that master data spreadsheet. I didn't pick up on it. I misspelled it. And there are a couple of factors that prevent me from being able to correct that. As an example, for every audio file that's created, there is a corresponding video. And in the video, there's a visualization attached to a photo background from usually unsplash.com because it's royalty free photos legally with the podcast logo, as well as the title of the episode. You don't get to type into a video new text. The video has been rendered. That video needs to be entirely replaced, re-rendered. The issue is some video platforms that you post to don't let you swap out the video. YouTube, for example, I can change the title of the post. I can change the description, but the video itself, that video, I can't swap out. Well, what if I deleted it and uploaded it again? Well, I've posted videos since then. I didn't catch this until recently, posting to a different social media platform. And so if I deleted that video, I can't put the replacement video in between the postings. It becomes the most recent post and then it's completely out of order. So I can retitle the, vi the video, but I can't recreate the video. As long as this content is posted, that video is going to display the wrong title, a misspelled title. But the wheels are turning, the car's moving, and I don't have time or the ability while that's happening to change the tire. New episodes are being created, new videos are being made, new posts are, are happening across multiple media platforms. At this point, the decision is keep moving forward, keep posting, and then learn from the mistake. I could have been more meticulous. I could have gone back through that document at any time and looked at the titles and seen, is this spelled correctly? Does this have proper grammar? Does this say what I want it to say? Or I could have hired someone to proofread, to go back through all of that and see. The point is, there's something that I could have done, multiple things that I could have done to prevent this issue, to prevent this error, this mistake. And while I didn't do it before, and while I wish I had done this before, it's something I'm going to do now. It's something that I'm going to do going forward. And so in a way, it's an improvement. It's not what I wanted it to be, but this is all part of the process. I'm making progress. I didn't start with perfection and I didn't reach perfection partway through. Slightly related, but not exactly the same thing because on one hand, I've made a mistake and it's something that I could have corrected if I had been a bit more detail oriented or meticulous or created some contingency plans for that data sheet, that master data file. But still slightly related, my senior year in high school, I was in a physics class and part of the responsibility for the students in that class was to shadow people who were working in some industry industry or some field, some trade that was similar or the same as what you were interested in. I didn't have much of an idea or great confidence in exactly what I wanted to do, but I was able to shadow a cardiothoracic surgeon, the father of one of the teammates on the football team. And so during one of the school days, I traveled over to, I believe, Baltimore to shadow this cardiothoracic surgeon. And during the day, it was a combination of paperwork and procedures. And the procedures that I was viewing specifically were highly controlled by computer equipment, computer equipment that was manipulated by a joystick surgery that was able to be performed with what looked like the joystick to a video game. And it was in that conversation, in conversation with this surgeon, where he said to me, as a doctor, sometimes you make mistakes, but the goal is what you want to do, knowing that you're not going to be perfect, is you want to make the very best decision you can with 
the information you have at the time. That's the contingency, he said. You make the best possible decision you can with whatever information you have. Sometimes that information isn't correct. Sometimes that information is insufficient. Sometimes the information is correct, but you make the wrong call according to the information, but that's what you strive for nonetheless. So there are two parts to that. One, having information. Two, making decisions rightly according to that information. As you plan, as you prepare, as you make decisions for your company, for your career, for your family, for your mission, for how you choose to spend your life, look for that combination of information or data and the tools, the abilities to be able to make decisions right, good, or proper decisions according to that data. Know that it's not going to be perfect. You won't have all of the data right in front of you, and you may not make the right decision, even if the data is exactly what you need. But that's what to strive for. 